finished work. Gonna head to the gym. Bought a new studio shirt. To not get hit by traffic. I'm gonna cut down my dialogue because I'm realizing after editing that the videos are very long. And I realize I don't look at the camera enough. But right now I'm driving, so that's why I can't look. Not unless I want to die. I've got the swim at work, which is pretty good. Let's we'll see how that affects the lift, hey? Okay, now I'm free. So I was merging into an intersection. I swam today, and we'll see how that affects the lift. Because hopefully I'm not too tired. Normally I hear that doing cardio before weight training is not ideal unless it's separated by a decent amount of time. The way I see it is swimming at work means I don't have to run after my workout, after my weights. So today we are doing the mighty chest. On the way to the bank, don't, I gotta stop at the bank on the way. I got all this money for uh, Lunar New Year. And I gotta deposit because they all give it to you in cash. Deposit into my bank account. Trying to save to go away to China, so every little dollar counts. Chest today, so chest, pretty basic, flat bench, incline benches, kind of dip to work the lower chest. It's like you kind of lean back a bit more. It's much easier on a sister dip if you don't have much core strength. So like, tilt your body like that. Just walked up to the gym, tired. Hungry. I didn't get much sleep last night because I had band practice till late. Is everything working against me? But I guess that's the lesson for today. So that you're not gonna feel a hundred percent every day. But sometimes you just gotta do it. I don't think today will be too long. Normally when I start working out, I feel a lot better. That's the thing, you know? There's lots of times I've rocked up to the gym and I felt terrible, but then I start working out and I feel a lot better. So, I'm sick of being tired, so I'm gonna go work out. I've got my tripod, and now I'm gonna walk back to my car. Slight snap through. I seem to have misplaced my tripod, but there's a Kmart near here, and I know they sell $5 tripods, so we'll do that. That's the ADHD brain for you. Constantly forgetting things. I can always leave my bottle of water at work. Bingo, six bucks. I know where I left my tripod. I left it at band practice last night. Cause I had planned to film, but I forgot to even film. Cause I got so into practicing. And then I guess I just left it there. Oh, I left it there. Not very many people here. It wasn't too bad. Oh, cramps. I've got a hip cramp near the end. Just have to stop. Okay. Chesty! I'm back again with the audio commentary. So, I'm doing a bench here. Normally I arch my back when I do it, but I didn't film it. But it's always important to squeeze with the chest and try and not let the triceps and shoulders take over. So you use those muscles, it is a chest movement, it's a push movement. Oh yeah, this last rep was very shonky. I might have been able to do another one, but I felt it, I'm like, oh man, I don't want to get trapped, not under the bench. Oh. And he racks it. Incline bench. I am told these are good for those full chests. They say that you need to work out all angles of your chest because your chest is also made of different heads too. Incline, decline, flat, any kind of chest. I always like doing these ones. I don't know why. It makes me feel powerful. But it's always important to make sure you feel you're using your chest and to kind of tuck your elbows in a little bit. You do the same on a regular bench, though it might be a bit different on an incline, but try not try to tuck in so you're not just using your shoulders and wearing them out. 
Yeah! That was a weird set. All my regular sets were easy. And I even got strength gain on the last set. But then the drop set was super hot. I don't understand. Why grip dips? So, basically this is meant to work for the lower part of the peg. It's like the decline motion I talked about. I used to do the decline benching, but that stuff is super sketchy. And if you fail, well, that's it, brother. And it's always good to put your foot at right at the back of the pad, try and lean into it so you feel the squeeze in your lower pec. I felt a good squeeze this time. And wide grip for the chest, narrow grip for the triceps. Ooh, yeah. Shoulder press. Now, these felt a bit funny, these. I kind of felt I might have been lifting too much weight. Maybe I was ego lifting. I felt a bit of a pull in my lower back near the end. So maybe it's worth dropping the weight and starting again. No ego lifting. Tricep kickbacks. Now my friend told me these were useless. But I think he just meant the dumbbell tricep kickbacks. Because you lose attention at a certain point with dumbbells. But I felt these in my triceps very well. And I'm told that these work the long head of the tricep because your arm is in the most flexion when it's behind your body. Like if you ever stick your arm back and fully flex your tricep, you can really feel it. And yes, it feels really good. And if you've got good balance in your feet, you can do it this way or you can bend over and do it. Whichever. As long as there's somewhere to grab for this one. Rope pull downs. These are a classic move. I watched a few videos on these and they said that you should avoid trying to stand straight because your body's momentum might try and take over and push it down. Whereas if you bend over, you reduce that happening. I always thought personally, not going all the way back up towards your shoulders, but actually stopping at a certain point keeps more tension on the triceps and it feels better but always fully contracting to the bottom and pulling out ways and fanning out the uh, ropes it's a pretty good movement my triceps were squealing there's the single hand cable thing Is that too short ah here you are Ah yes, the cable flies. These are good, I just started doing these. I used to do them on the pec deck, but I felt after I started doing it this way, I felt my chest way more. Doing it slow and contracting it, push it, pulling with the chest, trying not to let anything take over. I watched a video on this that said the best thing to do is if you're gonna bend your arms on the outside and then you straighten up on the inside, it gives a more full contraction of the chest. And after I started doing that, I felt it way more the next day. I love this movement. It's always a good stable, a good way to isolate the pectoral muscles, some might call them. Last exercise too. Oh shit, yeah. Sugar free Powerade. I was hoping to find like a sugar free lemonade or Something like that. It should be free power just as good. Yeah. Lots of free eggs. Been running out. So I can balance the eggs and the tripod and the power Yes. Alright. Finished at the gym, went to the store, got some eggies drive home and eat dinner. Oh, that training sesh. It was alright. I'd be remiss to say that it wasn't my best. I mean, didn't really lose any strength, per se. Besides, was maybe my shoulder press could probably do with a bit better form, maybe. Maybe I'll try the sitting shoulder press start from the beginning again but uh, I did feel a bit weaker it 
could have been because of the swimming. Perhaps there's a lot of tricep um, movement in swimming. I felt it was like more my triceps that were giving up more than my chest, actually. Because I know that swimming is a primarily a lat movement, but I guess you're pushing the water away, so you'd still be using your triceps. So perhaps my triceps were a bit weaker. It wasn't bad though. It's a good choice with the kickbacks though. You're doing two tricep exercises. I think that's where it's at. I think two tricep exercises of a go. The kickbacks and the rope pull downs. Triceps have always been a funny one for me. Trying to find a motion to isolate them properly. I think I've said this in other videos, but I can seem to get them very well during compounds. But isolation, yeah. But I think I'm starting to get that mind muscle connection. So that's pretty much the push pull legs. Oh, pull push legs in my case. Tomorrow will be legs again, and then I'll rest on Sunday. I guess I'll film legs again tomorrow, film another day, see if anything interesting happens. I guess I'll just film every day to track my progress. I'm gonna go home, got a dinner waiting for me. I guess there's not much to say about today, but yeah. I did my drop set on the pec deck instead of the cable pull. Because the guy that wanted to go on after me seemed like he really needed to go on it, so I thought I'd be extra nice and uh, let him go on and just do my drop set elsewhere. Because I'm that kind of guy. Anyway, I guess I'll see you again tomorrow.